not even four years ago. When them stores shut down, we saw who the real essential workers of America was. It was the people working in these gas stations, these supermarkets, these people that have day-to-day -day contact with the people stocking these shelves. And not even five years later, this is the way y'all are treating them. Attention Walmart shoppers, everything in the food and grocery aisle is free for the next 30 minutes. Mr. Beast is currently in the building. I repeat, Mr. Beast is in. Everything in the food and grocery aisle is free. Thank you. What an asshole! What it look like, TV? I am back! What it do, baby? YouTube's own Varnell Hill. Did ya miss me? Your very own spokesman for the Insidians. We're inside and we're comfortable. They're so comfortable. And I'm back with another one, y'all. And before we even get started, I want to give a shout out to all my peoples down in Eastern Kentucky. They was hit hard last week with that hurricane. And they're still putting things back together down there. I don't know why it hasn't hit the major news. So if you have any peoples down in uh, eastern Kentucky. Or just send some prayers up for my people in Kentucky. Because they down there and things are looking a little shaky right now. And they could use the prayers. And secondly, I want to put my hands together and give a shout out to everybody out there that got to deal with the general public. Because like I said, back in 2020, when we lost access to a lot of these stores and a lot of these conveniences of life we saw who the essential workers were you guys were in shambles not being able to go to walmart and target <laughs> it just hurts it hurts really bad <gasps> so to get to this point now where to put it short store workers are under attack and you're probably asking how are they under attack they're under attack from being content on somebody's channel because walmart right now is just becoming a studio to make content in every town like how would you like to get to your shift being an older gentleman or just get to your shift in general and have somebody in there asking stupid questions just to make some content for their tiktok page how are you doing sir hey. do you know uh where walmart's at Ooh. walmart walmart yes yeah, sir what you need uh i need to go to walmart Oh, this is. Are you guys open today? This is Walmart. All right, but are you guys open today? Got what now? You guys are open today? Yeah, come a little bit closer. I can oh. hear what you're saying. Get out. How you doing, sir? Do you know where uh, the cash registers are at? You see me? Registers? Yes, sir. Registers all day. Sir. All right, thank you. And customer service? Right all right, thank you. How you doing? I got a question. Do you know where I can get uh, carts from? Yeah. Like carts to push? Like to put a uh, grocery in? All right. Oh, so funny, I forgot to laugh. If you don't have people asking you stupid behind questions, you got people running up on you with cameras talking about they're going to report you for what you just did and you ain't did nothing. Yeah, I'm going to have to report you to the manager. So I'm going to film you right now to let them know that you had a really bad attitude and everything you were doing was disrespectful to me. I didn't do anything to you. If it's not them dumb behind ideas, how about the idea of dressing up like a Walmart manager and going in the store trying to pick fights with the employees? That sounds like a great idea. Hey, get that f***ing head off your head while you're at work, boy. So, so who is you? Think I'm the manager? What you mean? Manager, nigga? Oh, uh, you ain't talking about shit, bro. I'll whoop your f***ing ass. Out of here. Those pranks right there were pretty much harmless and ha ha. <laughs> but how about if you go in the store and you emotionally prey on somebody? Who talking about Willis? You're gonna understand exactly what I'm talking about when you see this one right here. Because this old head is gonna be emotionally affected after this. Well, it's some good. Um, I need like a good and gone because man, I gave that woman 16 years of my life. She had a baby with my granddad. 16 years of my life, and she had a baby with my granddad. And I'm looking for a gun and some bullets right now. Oh, have mercy, man. Look, look here. Oh, look, look. Think about what you're doing now. Think about what you're doing, son. I am, I am. Yeah, think about what you're doing, man. Yeah, look here. You don't, you don't, you, you, no, no, no. 16 whole look years here. of my life. Huh? 16, 16 whole years. Then they have a twin. Oh, have mercy, she man. Gonna, she gonna tell me to myself, I'm gonna, to myself, I'm gonna keep one, he gonna keep the other one. Oh, that's shit. not my baby. Oh, no, no. That is no. not my baby. Uh-uh, no, no. Come on, so man, you gotta be the craziest woman ever. Dog, dog, gone right. And my granddaddy, you ain't got no morals. 
You ain't got no more. Uh-uh. Cause she come over there helping you get back and forth and you done planted a seed in her. Ah, the dog go. Man, 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 oh man. Boy, if, if so that ain't, if that ain't. That why I said, I'm just looking for the bigger bullet. Yeah, bigger look, look at him. Look, no, no, let, let, take him at word now, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want, man, I'm talk to you just, just like I, I would my son. I got three, I got three boys. Mm -hmm. and, and, and look here, I, I, you don't want to, you don't want to do that because you, see, Zuma's always got, 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 got them advantage of you, man. They, they, they got the advantage. Year, bro. Yeah, 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 sir. Right. Yeah, yeah, year, yes. Bro. Yes, boy, I, I know it's tough, man. I know it's tough, but look at the hand. Just, 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 I hope he told him he was just playing because old head going to have him in his prayer circle. It looked like he went to the back, talked to the manager about it. He probably going to go home tonight, talk to his wife about it. That's going to rest on that old head's heart. You can see by the way he was saying them, damn. Damn. Oh, man, oh, man. Boy, if, if that ain't, if that ain't, uh, shit, that was damn. Them dams was heavy on him, man. I hope you told old head. And see, that's what I mean. You can't pray on people emotions like that because us older generation dudes we care for you guys and we want to see you do better than what we did so don't do that to the old heads but it gets even more deviant than that oh baby we're just getting started sometimes they come in the store and they're just so disrespectful to people that people don't have time for it and they don't be trying to hear it excuse me ma'am i'm not a man what? i'm sorry ma'am did i i'm not a fucking ma'am I thought Richard. Richard could be a ma'am. I don't. I don't think so, ma'am. Young lady, please chill. I'm not a lady. Ma'am, I, I, I didn't mean to. Leave the store. You're calling me a ma'am. I'm not a ma'am. What are you? I'm a sir. You're a sir. I'm a sir. I apologize, ma'am. No. No. Have a good day, ma'am. Not a ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. Ah. All right, have a good day. Damn, bro, you got the whole squad laughing. Not. Nice. If you want to play with anybody in Walmart, it shouldn't be the guy that's working the gun section that's getting extremely mad at you. That's just a tip, young bull. That's called common sense. That in your tiny mind is not common. And for real, for real, you a special type individual to bring this BS to somebody's job. You made that man put his job on the line because he didn't feel like dealing with your disrespect, man. Like, this some terrible stuff right here. But it gets even lower than this. After you watch this next one, you're going to see that these young boys is running around just playing out here. And it's putting people in real messed up situations at their jobs at that. Hey, brother, can I get a little bit of help over here real quick? Just Oh, uh, you, you good? What's up? Oh, excuse me, man. Excuse me. Oh, my friend thought you were really cute here. Is there any way he could grab your number? <laughs> Just by chance. <laughs> she thought that any chance he could get it? <laughs> yeah. What's that? You, you thought she was kind of cute. You want to grab her number? Can she have your number? I have a boyfriend. Oh, never mind, then, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're good. All right, my bad. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, maybe next time, huh? No, yeah. All right, yeah. He's he's talking about you and stuff like that. So my bad. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. He was eyeing you down for about a week now. He said. <laughs> yeah. Crazy guy. You're not funny and nobody likes you. Cause my man did have that, huh? Huh? You gonna give me your number? He did have that look on his face. But young boy went in there and literally played with that man's job just for content for his TikTok page. This is good content, thank you. Like that's narcissistic, that's sick, that's selfish, that's terrible. That's terrible and it's happening more and more places. Imagine if somebody showed up at your job, pulled the fast one on you, then threw it online and it was just only a matter of time before your bosses saw it. Nice to meet you, man. My name Jason. Harvey sent me over here. He said, y'all need some help. Well, watch the Philippines. It's the whole store. He said the whole store off what? 
Yeah. Uh, we got it Yep. Yeah. So I'm, I'm over here helping out, man. Hey, I just know one thing's for sure. One thing's for certain. When I'm here, shit gets done. That's you know what I'm saying? Really. You know what I'm saying? Actually, since I've been here, like, I've, I've been doing that. Come. We're coming oh. back. Coming back. Yeah. Uh, sure. Oh, for sure. Sure. Kind of, oh, for sure. For sure. Oh really? Oh, you been for three days? Yeah. Oh wow. How you, how you like? It? Oh y'all new? This, yeah. This okay, something. man. Hey, welcome to Dicks, man. Yeah. Welcome right. to Dicks, man. This is something I really specialize in because I'm, I'm from New York. Every store I ever worked, this is what I do. Right. And anything that's messed up, I'll come in, fix it up, and then just disappear like Batman. Oh yeah. So so you got sneaker knowledge? Yeah. I love my job. I'm good at it, and I'd like to keep it. What do your boss and what do corporate say when this video make its way back to him? If no want to come in the market, you terminated but i got more for y'all i got more of this i pretended to be a corporate rep at mcdonald's hey guys team meeting five minutes okay all right hey alejandra how's it going uh, good i'm gonna get the regular whoa michelle this is way too hot Oh, thanks, Charles. Like, it's lots of these examples of people faking, putting on uniforms, going into jobs and trying to work shifts or working shifts, then uploading the material, basically just putting people's jobs in jeopardy. Who does that? And they think it's funny and they think it's cute. And it gets even crazier when they decide to target the customer. They put them in real messed up situations and they play with people's freedoms in a lot of situations. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind being in a video? Yeah. Okay, uh, guess a number between 1 and 10. 1 and 10, I will choose 9. 9? Yes. Today's your lucky day. You just won brand new AirPods. Okay. No, you won. Oh. Well, you won. Why? You guessed the right number. You won. Sure. Yeah, you win. All right, have a good one. That's some old bull. The internet is filled with copycats. You want to see that prank get even worse? Watch this. Uh, do you mind if I just pay in the front? Sure. Okay, cool. But she fell for it, bro. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Would you mind being in a video? No, that'd be fine. All right, so uh, pick a number between one and ten. Let's say seven. Seven? Well, it's your lucky day. You just want brand new AirPod Pros. Wow, you're kidding me. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why? Small announcement. You're pretty close to going to hell. You won. Wow. Nothing. You won. How come? You win. Have a good one. Winner. You pompous, stuck up, snot nosed, twerp, scumbag. Have a good one. Thank you. And I'll be praying you get nut cancer. If he has bad luck for the next 37 years, I do not care. He deserves the next 57 years. That was terrible just for content. TikTok. A lot of times, more often than not now, people don't like this BS and they're not willing to play the game with him. This, 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 this. Can I get a, uh, can I get a number four? What's that, uh, can I get a Baja Blast? Hey, Sam, three. Can I grab my wallet real quick? Appreciate it, appreciate it. I'll be right back. That's it. I can't take it no more. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, are you recording? What? Are you recording? No, what? Look. Hi. Are you following me around with a camera? You know that guy? No, I don't know this guy. No. Wait, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Bro, what? Bro, what is wrong with him? What is that guy doing? Here, I got you. What's wrong with that guy? I don't know. What's the hell? Think you need to keep the camera out of people's faces. Whether they look sane, whether they look soft, whether they look crazy, you need to just leave people alone. Quit playing. Because some people not trying to play games with you. I will f you up. But anyway, hit me up in the comments section. Tell me how you felt about what just happened there. Tell me some of y'all experiences. Do y'all work retail? Has anybody came in y'all stores acting like total freaking idiots? Have you ever been in the store and somebody was acting like a total freaking idiot? Yo, I rock with all my service workers. I appreciate the job that y'all do. Y'all should be able to go to y'all shift, try to figure out a way to get through it and have a peaceful, sane positive attitude you shouldn't have people coming in from the outside trying to make you content and trying to make you store content and just making your life harder on you for no damn reason but anyway man like i said hit me up in the comments section tell me how y'all feel if you'd have made it to this point in the video you are my mvp it was a stone groove my man out of here